What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. So last week I kind of went over the drone architecture as well as some of the libraries that you can use to program your drone. This week I'm going to be going over how the software in the loop simulation works and going over some of the questions you guys have had about um, the inner workings of all the different pieces of software that we use on our drones and how you guys can use them in your own applications. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The Arduino Pilot software uses something called the hardware abstraction layer. And the hardware abstraction layer basically is a common interface such that when you write a driver to talk to a sensor or an actuator, um, it essentially uh, goes through this common abstraction layer and it makes it super easy for developers to make and implement new devices to the flight control unit. We can also use the hardware abstraction layer to connect to simulated um, actuators and sensors, which then are basically emulated through the physics simulation that you use. So by default, the Arduino Pilot software in the loop looks like this, where it's the Arduino Pilot software with uh, the default physics that's embedded within the flight control software, um, talking through the hardware abstraction layer to the flight controls. And essentially there's just very simple sensors and very simple actuators. Usually you talk Mavlink over a serial connection, which then goes through a transmitter and a receiver to the ground control station. But in the software in the loop, by default, it launches the program MavProxy, which then takes the data and allows you to have multiple um, Mavlink streams over an IP connection such as UDP. And this is a very typical setup where you have the default UDP port 14550 talking to the ground control station, as well as an extra um, UDP port that is talking to your companion computer software that you're testing on your computer. Um, this extra UDP port is typically where your programming libraries will interface, such as PyMavLink, drone, drone kits, Mav SDK, MavRos. And you can test all of your software in software in the loop. Um, very simply like this. However, the default physics uh, simulator that comes with Arduino Pilot is pretty limited and you won't have any visual interface and it's also a pretty simple physics model. So it's very typical for this default physics to get replaced with a more uh, advanced simulation. So that's where the gazebo simulator comes in that we've been using. It is also worth noting that the gazebo simulator is only one simulation tool that you can use with Arduino Pilot. There is a multitude of simulations that you can use, such as AirSim or JSB Sim or some of the other ones, um, which you can find on the Software in the Loop dev docs on the Arduino Pilot site. So here is a simple diagram of how the gazebo Arduino Pilot Software in the Loop works. So essentially we have our flight controls here, which are our control loops, our rate loops, our attitude loops, position loops. Um, and basically they'll talk through the hardware abstraction layer to the gazebo driver, which then takes all the commands and sends them over to the Arduino Pilot plugin, which is in the gazebo environment. And those commands will then get sent to the motors on our simulated drone, which will then basically result in forces being applied to the vehicle, which is modeled within the civic, the, the physics module in Gazebo. And based off of the physics movement, that then goes into the sensor models, which you can select in Gazebo uh, and put on your simulated drone. And the states are then sent back to the Arduino Pilot plugin, which are sent back over to Arduino Pilot. And then those position estimates, or state ed estimates, I should say, are then used in the flight controls to then uh, create another loop, which then goes back, creates more commands, and then more sensor readings, and so on. And again, in this configuration, we have the map proxy uh, program that's generating Mavlink for our ground control station and Mavlink for our Mavros node, which is how we've been doing it in a lot of the previous videos. It's also worth noting that using the gazebo simulator you can use a lot of the other extra sensors that aren't critical for the flight controls of Arduino Pilot in your guidance programs that you're making in your ROS environment, which would then run on your companion computer. So some of these examples would be like the 2D LiDAR from the obstacle avoidance um, lesson. That would basically 
be generating data based off of the physics and then come to the the LiDAR plugin, which would then publish a ROS message, which then we would subscribe to in our guidance, which then we would make decisions off of and send commands over Mavlink back to the flight controls. And then that would funnel back through the feedback loops. So I really wanted to address this topic today because I didn't really go over all of the moving parts within the simulators in previous videos. And a lot of people have had um, some questions about how this all works. So I hope you guys learned a little bit from this short little video today about how this all works together. And I hope this helps you get a better picture of what exactly we're doing in software in the loop and how your intelligent drone works. Until next time, guys, keep it classy.